Hey, what's up, guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and today we're going to talk about seamless, seamless patterns. patterns. Okay, so let's say you're tasked with making ribbon boards for stadium graphics. Normally, you split it up into one comp that you can repeat along the full length of the board. This board isn't 360, but it'll loop if it needs to. So let's check out the main comp. So all these shapes in the background, you'd normally make like one set and then duplicate it along the length of the board, and maybe time together with a null or something like that. But I have a little bit of a better way if you're using shapes. So let's turn this on. Here I have the Workbench logo animated so that it can move around the board. So I'm going to hit Shift-P to open up position. Set a keyframe. Move it over to here. I'm going to go outside the board by a random amount. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to select this real quick. Apply my easing. All right, so the magic here is that we're going to open up this shape. And then I have this logo animated group. I'm going to close that down. And I'm going to add a repeater. I'm going to open that up real quick. I'm going to set the copies to like 7. Set the offset to negative three. That way, the one that we're working on is in the middle. All right, so we're set up as far as that goes. Now we're going to open up the transform. We're going to option click on position right here. We're going to type in X equals this comp. Make sure the C is capitalized. Dot width, semicolon, enter, open bracket, X, comma, zero. Close bracket, semicolon, and that's it. So you can see that when we get over here, and this thing gets out of frame right in the middle, the lines that stick out here are cut off here. So this is an exact loop. I'm just going to drag this around a little bit. So you can see, when it gets over here, it leaves frame and enters frame. Alright, we'll just set this here. Set that one there, go to 100 in the middle. And move this from here over to here. Select those, add the same easing, and let's jump out to our main comp. So I can see it moves through, and then it goes to the center. And that's pretty much it. You can do whatever kind of animation you want, put it in a group, repeat that group along the width of your comp, or a fraction thereof if you want more than one copy, and then just animate the position of one layer, and you're all set. And that's it, another quick workbench tutorial that I hope will help you work faster. And now you won't need like 40 layers with 10 nulls to animate a ribbon board. All right, thanks for watching. If you want to help support what I do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. And make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great content. I'm Joe from Workbench, and I'll see you guys next week. Workbench. 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 Bye.